Do you want to learn how to create a Rush 2 package for C++ in less than 5 minutes? Then stay with me, this video is for you! Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust 2 tutorials video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to learn how to create a Rust 2 package uh, for C++. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy. Our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now yes, let's jump uh, straight to the video. So as always, let's go to the ROS Development Studio. And as, as I've already said, uh, today we are going to see how to create a ROS2 C++ package uh, in very few steps, very simple, you'll see. Ross 2 uh, CPP package. Let's call it for instance. And uh, Ross 2 Crystal. Let's create our project and start it as always. Very important to select the Ross 2 Crystal uh, configuration in order to be able to use Ross 2. And now let's open the project and wait uh, a few moments until the whole environment loads. So, yeah, I'll come back when the environment is loaded. Great, so here we have it, our environment loaded. So yeah, first of all, let's open a shell. Let's open an IDE as well, in order to visualize our files. And the first thing we need to do is to source ROS2 in order to be able to execute ROS2 commands. So let's source opt ROS crystal setup dot bash and now we're going to move straight forward to the ROS2 workspace where we are going to of course create our package there because that's what this workspace is for for uh, creating there all the ROS2 stuff so let's jump to the ROS2 workspace and now let's create our package using the ROS2 package sorry there we are, ROS2 package create. Uh, we are going to name it ROS2 CPP package, for instance. Then we are going to select as build type aimant semake. Yeah, this is for C packages. For Python, it would be M and Python, but this is not already implemented. So for now, you can only create. Um, Packages for C++, but in another video, probably in the next video, I'm going to explain how to create a, a, a ROS2 package for Python, which you have to modify some things manually, but it is possible. Then, as dependencies, dependencies, we are going to select RCL CPP, yeah, which is the framework for uh, using C++ in ROS2. So, yeah, let's create our package. There we have it, here it has appeared, then yeah, so let's now add a code, for instance, oh, no, folder no, I want to create a new file, uh, ROS2 uh, cpp code dot py, uh, dot cpp of course, uh, okay, and now I'm going to paste here very quickly a uh, code that I have here prepared, very simple code, as you will see. So as you can see here, I'm just uh, importing the RCL CPP client library. Then I generate a node called ob1 and then I just print here, uh, help me ob1 Kenobi, you're my only hope, a simple print. Yeah, so great. Now all we need to do is to build this node. For that, we are going to jump to the to the semi-glist.txt uh, file, and here 
we are going to add the following. There we go. So here we have a line which is to generate the executable. And here we can call the executable as we want. For instance, let's call it uh, CPP code. And this is going to be called uh, the name of the file that I have created, which is, we have it right here, ROS2 CPP code dot cpp and here again I have to put the name of the executable which is going to be named cpp code again here the name of the executable cpp code and yeah in this case here this we don't need it because we are not going to create a launch file we will in the future uh, show as well how to create a launch file because it has it's a little bit different from how you did it for ROS1 but for now, let's remove this. So yeah, with this we are going to generate an executable from this C++ file that we have created here. And the executable will be called CPP code. Yeah? Then let's save this. Uh, let's compile it with colcon build simlink install. Let's compile this. This symlink install, uh, basically what does is to generate symlinks in the install folder so that you can uh, modify the files and compile them and uh, get those modifications uh, in real time in the install folder, so in the executable, yeah? Uh, probably I will also create another video explaining a little bit this because the compilation system, as you, as you see, has... Uh, has been modified from ROS1 and there are some things that uh, need to be explained but well so yeah here we have compiled our package and now let's source it setup.bash great and now we are able to to execute the command ROS2 run and from the ROS2 CPP package let's run the node the executable cpp code it was yeah then let's run this and as you can see basically this what what does is to print the help me away on kenobi you're my only hope yes this string we have here so yeah this is how you create a simple plus package very simple uh, and yeah that's all for the video of today as i've said in the next video probably i'm going to be talking about how to create a a package but for python which is very interesting and yeah if you like the video please give us a like remember to subscribe to our channel we are publishing new videos every day and for anything you want to comment us if you have any requests for for following videos please leave us a comment in the comment area below and yeah goodbye see you in the next video